Hey, how's it going out there today, everybody? Hope everybody's having a great day. Been getting a lot of questions from guys not in the industry yet, and I love to lend a hand to those guys because that is the future of trucking, and uh, we need them because the average age of truckers is growing. So anytime we can bring new people into the industry and get them in the right way and help them succeed, I think we're doing everybody a favor. So the question I've been getting, is now the time to start trucking? Is now a good time to start trucking? Should I become a truck driver? My answer is yes. And any of you experienced guys watching this, you let me know in the comments what you think. And if you don't agree with me, let me know. If you do agree, let me know. But uh, this is to help the new guys. So yes, I think now is a good time to get into trucking. Honestly, I think if you have the want to get into trucking, any time is a good time to get into trucking. Everything else can be taught. The want to be a truck driver can't really be taught. Uh, and if you come in here and you think, oh, I'm going to do it for the money, and you think you're going to be making big money in the beginning, you're probably going to be disappointed. Now, getting into trucking for money is a great idea because there is good money in trucking. But if you don't have that want to be a truck driver, some days are going to drag you down and you're going to want to quit. So just keep that in mind. you got to have some want to be a truck driver. Maybe a dream to be a truck driver. You know, I think that helps. So how do you get into the trucking industry? Well, number one, you need a commercial driver's license in your pocket. So you, how are you going to get that CDL? Majority of people go to a big carrier and get their CDL and then they in turn work for that company for a specified period of time whether it be three months six months nine months 12 months I've even seen some 18 months now um, but a year is kind of the industry standard so if they put you if big carrier put you through school they expect you to work for them for about a year I recommend get that CDL yourself if possible if you have the finances and you have the means, you can find places that will help you get your CDL without having to go, um, you know, through some, you know, one-year contract. Never ever, if you're new and you're going to do this, never ever sign a no-compete contract. If the company you're with says you have to sign a no-compete contract, that means go to a different carrier. Uh, ask that when you call the recruiters. Get that in writing that there's no compete con you know no no compete contract in place there, because you don't want to do that. Because if you don't like that carrier, that's going to inhibit you from moving to a new carrier. So don't don't sign that. Now if you sign up for a year with a carrier, so they'll get you through an approved school and get that CDL in your pocket. I got no problem with that because that's how I did it. It worked out for me and no shame in the game but i will suggest if you can get to school yourself and pay for the school yourself you will have way more options you will not be limited to you know suffering through a bad carrier experience so try to get your cdl if you can yourself if you can finance that if you can pay cash for it do it yourself i recommend uh do what you got to do to get it though because let's face it if you do go through the mega carrier situation like I did it's one year okay that you got to deal with that and then at the end of the year not only did you make some money but you're free and clear with a CDL at that point you know the world is kind of yours at that point don't let that discourage you too much I do recommend trying to get a school without signing a contract but if you have to don't let that hold you back because once you get that CDL in your pocket and you know if you do have to go through that one year you're gonna have a lot of options at the end of that one year now I do recommend to uh, you know really explore your options after like six months or a year of, of your starter carrier because there's a lot of good options out there so one of the reasons or some of the reasons I think trucking is always a good option is number one the options you can do lots of different types of jobs if you want to be local if you want to drive you know locally around your city your area you can do that if you want to be regional kind of work in you know a few state area where you can be home more but 
you know, still have that uh, over the road kind of experience. Or if you just want to be flat out, you know, over the road, all 48 lower, you know, all the contiguous 48 states, get out there and run them. You can do either one. In trucking, there are so many options. That is the best thing about trucking. If you live in Charlotte and you want to move to Los Angeles, I guarantee you there's trucking jobs in either city. You never have to worry about a trucking job. They're always out there. Since the dawn of time, people have needed things moved. Not only can you move around the country and still be local or whatever, not only can you choose what kind of freight you're going to haul if you work days, if you work nights. I mean, it's amazing how uh, you can craft your schedule because there's so many options, okay? Now, if you want to get to the money, you know, you got to level up. Get some endorsements on those licenses. I recommend get those right off the bat to the new guys. Get the endorsements. I think every CDL driver will tell you that for advice. That is nothing new. That is not original. I heard that from somebody that heard that from somebody and so on and so on. But it's a reason that it's always said. Not only does trucking have a lot of options, but when you add these endorsements to that CDL, you get even more options. It's a beautiful thing. I have doubles, triples. I have tanker. I have uh, hazmat. If I need them tomorrow, like if I need to go find a local job tomorrow, I can do it. And I can make good money with nothing more than that CDL, a clean driving record, and those endorsements. Okay? And during that first year, I'll give you, you know, another little piece of advice for that first year. Don't be speeding. Don't get in no big hurries. Take the work they give you. Do the work they give you. Kind of just get a feel for it. Don't get in too big of a rush. Don't don't get yourself uh, caught speeding in a construction zone. You don't get a bunch of these tickets, man, because when you want to go explore your options on new, better-paying jobs, you want to be squeaky clean, man. You want the confidence to walk in there knowing you are what they're looking for. So now we've got you all hyped up. You're, you're making phone calls. And by the way, make a lot of phone calls. Call these companies. Make you a list of questions that you want to know. You know, do you pay practical miles? Do you pay uh, household mover miles? You know, these are the things you want to, you know, make you a whole list of these. You interview the company when you call them. Now, when you fill out the application and they, they call you back, that's them interviewing you. But in the beginning, you interview them. You, you sort it out, you know, don't just take the first one that comes along unless, you know, that happens to be the best one after you've searched like 10 of them and called 10 of them, you know. So let's talk about a few of the negatives that I promise you, if you power through them, things will get better if you do what you're supposed to do and level up. So the big thing in the beginning, being away from home is rough. It's always rough. I've been at this for 15 years. It's still rough. I hate leaving the house with a red hot passion. So, you know, get your get your uh, video call uh, app of choice. Try to stay in contact. It's going to help. You know, just talking and seeing the people you know and you love that are at home every day helps tremendously. Uh, you know, you got to work through that. You you, you got to tell yourself, you know. Uh, you know, I can be local. You know, I mean, there's a lot of local jobs that hire you straight up right now. You know, no experience necessary, maybe six months of experience. So if if that becomes too much for you being away from home all the time, don't give up on the industry. Just explore other options in the industry. Um, another thing that kind of makes it a little rough out here, you're inside, but it's kind of an outside job. You know what I mean? Like, it's not like you go to an office and you work in an office every day or you go to a factory and work in a factory every day. The weather outside does affect your job. So keep that in mind. I recommend spend some money when you first get into the industry and make yourself comfortable to be working outside. I live in Minnesota. Invest in, you know, like... When winter rolls around, invest in some good boots, some good heavy, thick winter socks, some really heavy, thick gloves, jackets, coats. You know, get it where you can be outside and be comfortable. You know, because you're going to have to be outside. Right now, I'm sitting in this truck and it's pouring rain outside. 
get yourself a raincoat. You're going to be out in the rain all the time. And an umbrella ain't really a good thing right now because the wind is like 20 plus mile an hour out there right now. It is miserable outside right now, I can promise you. So be prepared for the weather. I think a lot of guys leave the industry for that. They just they think about the sunshiny blue sky days of trucking. It's not all like that. But it's doable. It's doable. When the roads get too bad, I pull this truck over and I park it. I am no superhero. I'm no, you know, great, you know, trucker. I just do a job at the best I can with the with the information I have at the time. And it's pretty simple, guys. Now, there are lots of other things. And if you continue to watch this channel, I will try to teach you some of those. I can also recommend you some really good channels that can help you do that as well. And I appreciate you watching. But long story short, yes, always a good time to get that CDL in your pocket. Thanks for watching, everybody. Watch these other videos that are popping up right here. Click on those and learn more about trucking. Take care of each other out there.